two top editing platforms, two massive fan bases. One big question, which editing app really delivers? On the left, Final Cut Pro, professional grade editing exclusively on Mac. And on the right, CapCut, fast AI powered editing for everyone, everywhere. Let's skip the buzzwords and get to the real differences. Each category earns points, and at the end, you'll see exactly who comes out on top. The winner might surprise you. Before we get totally lost in fancy transitions and export settings, let's get our map out. Here's the lowdown. We're comparing these two on price, platform and mobility, performance and rendering, AI smarts, usability, advanced features, and finally, popularity and the overall ecosystem around them. That's a lot, I know, but hang with me. We're gonna make it super chill. First up, the money talk. Final Cut Pro, you pay one big chunky fee up front, like $299.99, single payment, and you own it, which honestly feels kind of retro these days, right? No subscription chasing you around every month. But um, it's definitely a tough pill to swallow if you're just starting out. Now CapCut, Oh man, CapCut feels like it's from a different universe. There's a totally free version with a wild amount of features, and if you want more pro stuff, there's a subscription, but it's honestly pretty affordable. A few advanced tools are locked behind the paywall, but for most folks, you probably won't even notice. So yeah, for price, CapCut kind of just throws the budget-friendly win in your face. Okay, switching gears, platform and mobility. Final Cut Pro is like super slick for Mac users. It's got all that juicy Apple integration, but you know what? If you're on Windows or you want to edit on the go, it's a nope. No mobile version at all. CapCut though, this editor is like everywhere. Mac, Windows, your phone, your tablet. Heck, you can edit your video in bed if you want. Now, the desktop version isn't as beefy for crazy high-end workflows, but who does ultra high-end editing on their phone, right? CapCut takes this category by a landslide. Okay, let's talk speed and power, performance and rendering. Final Cut Pro is the heavy hitter here. If you're stacking up 4K or even wild 8K footage and you've got an Apple Silicon Mac, it's honestly buttery smooth. All those fancy pro things like exporting in ProRes, VR support, it just handles it. The catch? Well, you need a proper Mac to really get that speed. Your old MacBook isn't going to cut it. CapCut is definitely fast enough for everyday stuff, especially social media edits, but when it comes to big, complicated projects or insane effects, it doesn't quite flex as hard. So, for power users and pros, Final Cut Pro actually walks away with the win here. Oh, and here's something wild. Did you know CapCut actually started as a mobile-only TikTok editor? Now, in 2025, you can export freaking 8K videos straight from the desktop version. Talk about a glow up. Now, here's something cool, AI features. Final Cut Pro's got super professional stuff. Think object tracking, auto scene editing. The AI is pretty smart, but it's, well, more geared towards studio level users. CapCut is where things get a bit more fun. Its AI is like, wanna auto caption your video? Change your background, type text, and let it create your vid? It's trendy, super easy, and feels made for everyone. Sure, some of these AI tricks aren't as fine-tuned for pro film work, but for regular creators, CapCut makes it stupid simple. So, on AI, CapCut's totally out in front. Usability and the learning curve. Let's get real. Final Cut Pro, it's a beast. If you're a total beginner, honestly, the amount of buttons, timelines, options, it's overwhelming. Like, you need patience to really get the hang of it. But when you do, it's a powerhouse. CapCut, on the flip side, is just so simple. Drag, drop, edit. It feels almost like they designed it for people who hate reading manuals. You can basically start editing in, like, five minutes. It isn't super deep like pro desktop editors, but for most users, that's not a deal breaker. Winner here is clearly CapCut. Advanced features. Oof, this one is juicy for all the hardcore video editors. Final Cut Pro's got big guns. Multicam editing, 360-degree VR, super pro color grading, magnetic timelines, pro audio, pretty much everything you'd ever need in a studio. Downside? Most of these you'll never touch unless you really geek out on editing. CapCut packs a lot for what it is. Multi-layer timelines, transitions, tons of templates. But let's be real. Compared to Final Cut Pro, it's like a tasty burger versus a three-course chef's meal. This one heads to Final Cut Pro. And finally, popularity and ecosystem. Final Cut Pro sits as the gold standard in a bunch of pro studios, and it fits perfectly into all the Apple stuff. But you guessed it, 
Apple, only. It's a pretty exclusive club. CapCut is out here, used by millions, making TikToks, YouTubes, Insta videos, you name it. There's a massive library of effects and templates, all basically ready for social media. But in the world of pro film and TV, CapCut isn't exactly the industry standard. Still, for sheer popularity and platform reach, CapCut's got the edge. If you're into the visuals, check out this radar chart. We've scored both editors across every category, and you can see exactly where Final Cut Pro flexes and where CapCut smooths things out with accessibility and AI. So let's sum it up. Final Cut Pro is insane for professional filmmaking. If you want everything and you're an Apple user, it's still a total winner on features and performance. CapCut, that's for anyone who loves quick, fun, creative edits absolutely anywhere. You get crazy AI, zippy exports, and never have to buy a Mac. Honestly, pick your weapon based on how you actually edit. For studios and pros, Final Cut Pro. For everyone else, CapCut's it. All right, if you enjoyed this creative head-to-head, -head, hit follow to see more tech matchups that actually matter. There's always a new tool popping up, so stay tuned and keep unleashing those editing skills.